Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome to this here special video. Well, not really a special video, it's more of a gameplay video, uh, because I've not done Doom or Doom 2 in a while, and I apologize for that, but we are here doing a Doom 2 map made by Skillsaw. As many of you know, I am a big fan of this guy. Uh, he was the one who made a Lunatic, uh, which I did a blind Let's Play of. And that's what this is going to be. This is going to be a blind playthrough of Hanging Gardens. Um, although I have seen a couple of playthroughs of this in the past already, but I don't remember too much about it except that it is very well designed and very difficult. So we're going to be using some save states along the way because I don't think I can do this in one go without dying. Uh, especially being as nearsighted as I am when it comes to this particular map. Um, this is GZ Doom. You need uh, the GZ Doom source port in order to be able to play this particular one. So um, the link to everything you need is in the description below. So... Um, go check out those links to be able to, you know, download everything and play this particular map. I do recommend playing this. It is really neat. Anyways, enough talking. Let's just jump right in to the map by Skillsaw. Obviously, he gives us a lot of weapons. <laughs> this is typical of Skillsaw. Um, wow, that's a lot of imps. Oh, yeah, the splatter effect. Um, I did not install any mods. This just came with the package itself. Um, instead, instead of a WAD file, you actually download a package file. And I think this came with it. Uh, not the, um, the splatters and the jibs. This came with it. And here comes a bunch of cacodemons, so I think that's my cue to get out of here before I die. Oh boy. Um. Boy, how far up am I going to go here? Oh, Megasphere. My goodness, this is insan insanity. Well, we might as well take advantage of them being stuck. I'm not sure why they get stuck like that. They just, uh, do. I need more shotgun shells there, so thank you very much. Yeah, that Megasphere was a lifesaver. My gosh. Um, I don't have any big weapons, so I think... <sighs> yes, I think that was a Revenant rocket. I despise Revenants. More shotgun shells, that is handy. I am going to save my game here before I end up dying. Hanging Gardens. There we go. Uh, I don't need that soul spear, even though thank you. Oh, yes, BFG. Although it's not for free, where is the cyber demon that's going to show up? I, I know it. Uh, skill saw never gives anything for free, which I like. I like to earn what I get. Well, it doesn't look like much of anything is popping up, so. Well, okay then. Oh my gosh, pain elemental, you need to be extinct. Lost soul offspring is pissing me off. Lost soul. Yes, I am going after just the lost souls here. B 
because they are just that stupid of a design. Whoever designed the Lost Souls was an idiot. There may be another pain elemental alive somewhere. I'm really thinking that. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this since we need it now. Lost souls. Seriously. I don't see any more pain elementals, but that doesn't mean they aren't around. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, well, I do have some rockets. It would be nice to have a little bit more. Yeah, as you see, the cacodemons now bleed blue like they're supposed to. I know that was a continuity error with the original. That is kind of cool, the way the blood just comes splattering on the sides of you. It is kind of neat. Course, they disappeared. I haven't used the BFG. I gotta start using it. Ah, yellow key is mine. Save my game again. Just in case, on the slim chance, a cyber demon does spawn and kill me in one rocket. Uh, which can happen, and, and probably will. Thank you, no Z-axis. Out of here. Okay, well, not doing too bad. Okay. Man, the moment you think you have respite in order to switch weapons to use a better weapon, everybody starts showing up again. Which I love. I love the surprises. Another lost soul. Where are you guys coming from? a little bit tricky. <laughs> Grab some more uh, uh, shotgun ammo. I am running just a little bit low. What are you... Is he aiming at those enemies up there? Well, I'll take care of your little problem. More rockets, always good to have. And a soul spear there. I'm going to save that for a rainy day. That is a cool lime green blood. I haven't even commented on the aesthetics yet because I'm so busy... Cool. Plasma rifle. I've been so busy fighting the alien invasion. Uh, these aren't really aliens. Uh, they're more demons, but... I've been so busy fighting these guys that I've never really... Uh, been able to comment on just... Look at the hanging gardens everywhere, everybody. Look at the design. The hanging... Gardens in Babylon have nothing on this. Solomon's Hanging Gardens? Nothing. Compared to this. Although I would imagine, you know, back then, with 
as much gold as you could take from kingdom to kingdom, you would be a very rich king and would therefore be able to afford just the absolute best. And I imagine some of the palaces back then probably looked a lot like this. Just absolutely splendor. Ah, more armor. I will take that. Even though it's not a blue armor or a mega sphere armor, uh, which absorbs, I think, half of the damage, uh, the green armors will absorb um, a third of the damage, I believe. So, Okay, so we have the yellow key, I think. Was that... There's the blue key up there. Okay, well, how do we... Whoop, I didn't mean to fire that. How do we get said blue key? Well, wait, did that... Oh, it unleashed more hell. More hell has been released for only $9.95. Holy shoot, what in the world? He's carrying dynamite. Oh my gosh, they're suicide TNT guys. That's kind of cool. I saw an arch vial. I am not messing around with those guys, and I'm going to save my game here before I end up dying. I'm going to grab this. You don't mess around with arch vials, that's for sure. I was going to say, I have the BFG with a lot of ammo. I'm probably going to regret not using it. I almost did. Okay, we will grab this. And the blue key card. I wonder how many uh, keys. Or I wonder how many locked doors there are. And where they even are. Oh, there's the red key. Okay, well... Gotta be some way to lower it down. Now yeah, we'll grab this plasma. I almost regret jumping down here because... Okay, so it's not toxic. Oh boy. Where does this teleporter take me? Oh, it just takes me up here. Okay, well, fair enough. Man, these gardens, though, are just beautiful. Oh, I get it. Yep, I figured more enemies are going to be showing up. Probably with an arch vial. So I will be ready. My body is ready for the arch vial. Come, light daddy up and I will kill you. And hopefully he can maybe get in an infight with other people, if the Archvile is even going to show up. If, you know, if there's even an Archvile that will show up. That's a lot of enemies. Whoa. I almost went inside the gardens themselves. I see a pain elemental not dealing with you. Get out of my face, please, before I end up dying. In fact, before I die, I'm going to save my game. Another pain elemental is dead. I'll go ahead and grab this. Okay. Yeah, see, that's typically what I like to do in my own personal playthroughs of games. Like, I'm just treating this like a personal playthrough, which I normally try and do anyway with blind Let's Plays. But this is what I like to do. I take my time, I analyze every situation. Rather than just blitz through everything, I analyze everything to see, okay, do I really need to sacrifice a BFG shot here, or can I just let everything infight? 
or can I kill them all with the SSG? And for enemies I can't stand, like arch vials and pain in the ass elementals, I will take care of them with, uh... Um... Yeah, with whatever big weapon I got. And Revenants also can be a pain in the ass. But I think he's in fighting. Or is he? Where is he going? That Revenant. That Revenant. <sighs> Cacodemons can also be annoying. Because when you move from place to place, uh, the grounded enemies can't follow you. At least follow you as quickly, but the flying enemies can. And I keep forgetting that those enemies are capable of that. So... Where are you, Lost Soul? I saw you, but... I'm actually kind of surprised I've not died yet. I mean, judging from just the sheer number of corpses that we can see. I can't quite make that jump. Well, I mean, maybe you can, but... I think we need to use that teleporter that's down here, so... Oh, three enemies left of 455. I could have used a lot more plasma. And I will grab this soul sphere. There's another soul sphere over here, which I don't really need right now. But since there's three enemies left, I mean, uh, just because it's three enemies doesn't mean it's, like, going to be three imps. You know how this game is. It could be three cyber demons for all we know. Okay, where am I supposed to go, though? I have keys, but... Like... Mm -hmm. And there's one secret that I'm missing as well. I do like to try and find everything, but if I can't... Then that will just be too bad. And a bummer. Uh, missing two items as well. Well, here's one item. Uh, you know what, let's make this interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And that was the secret. Okay, well, fair enough, I guess. Hmm. Where am I supposed... That armor's gonna really help out. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, duh. I'm gonna have my BFG ready. Oh my gosh! No way! Oh, that's cool! I'm gonna save my game, because I'm gonna see what else these guys do. Or I'm just gonna bask in... Wow, these are like ultimate barons. Now that's cool. Three plasma waves. And a rocket to boot. Oh my gosh! These guys take a beating. I'm gonna grab this. That is cool. It looks like their souls go up. Man. I gotta play more Doom mods, I swear. And I think, as soon as all this text goes out of the way, that is everything. Okay, fair enough. Whoo, that... Oh, Hanging Garden. It should be Hanging Gardens, I believe, but... Uh, uh, the part time is 4.45. I'm sure you could do it, even on Ultra Violence. Which, by the way, yes, I did play this on Ultra Violence, as usual. Wow, that was really fun! Man, I'm tempted to just play this again because of just how awesome this map is. Um, 
I want to give a shout out to Cacomb One. He was the one actually who played this first that I saw a playthrough of. I really enjoyed that particular playthrough that he did. Um, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. So if you guys want to check out that video and see what his stuff is all about and whatnot, uh, feel free to. Um, so, yeah, shout out to him. Um, yeah, really solid map by Skillsaw. As far as I can remember, this is not one of Skillsaw's maps that were included in any project that he did. I believe this is just a, like, a throwaway map. Which, if this is a throwaway map, he's got skills then, because this is not a throwaway map. This is really cool, so... Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, maybe some more Let's Plays of this. Well, not maybe. Definitely some more Let's Plays of games I've not played before will be in the future, so... Thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys next time in the next video that I will post on this channel. Take care, everybody.